this is October 19th, 2021. This is Kate. Yeah. And Kate has some issues. The viewer can see she's got a rash on her face and unfortunately she's had it all over her body. But she came in to me with a myriad of complaints that is probably a combination of some kind of Lyme symptoms and what people call Morgellons disease. Do you want to tell the viewer what you came in here with before we started with you? Sure. Um, I was uh, I was exhausted. Uh, I couldn't uh, function in my daily life. My skin was incredibly painful and itchy, alternating. Um, I was having all these things come out of my skin that were um, also painful. They were seed, like seeds, granules, hard things, soft things, things that like fibers or hairs that weren't mine. Um, just lots of really strange. My skin was puffy. Um, a lot of pain, a lot of itching, and no function. My cognitive ability had declined uh, significantly, as well as my emotional regulation. Like I was freaking out and having fear over stuff that didn't make any sense and anxiety. It was kind of impossible to function. And you've had, I, I, we may have made a discovery on you that could help a lot of people, mm. which is why I'm making this video. You've had how many ozone sessions now? This would be six, five or six. Yeah. And what have they done for you? Oh, it's been everything. It's been amazing. Like from the first one I started to notice, but now with the more that I get, the more it's just building on itself. I mean, my, my cognitive function has improved dramatically. I can think through and solve problems and I couldn't even use my email before. I mean, and I'm in tech. It was terrible. Um, and now it's like I can do multiple things every day. I started a little side business, whereas before I couldn't work at all. And, um, you know, it's my ability to be empathetic and to feel other people has improved like it's just not to mention my skin like I almost have no fiber hair things coming out of my skin anymore and it used to be the bathtub would just I mean it was terrible and now it's very few and my skin is thinned out it's not as puffy um, not as thick and it almost never crawls like I might I used to have crawling all over my body like it would drive me insane and and now I have like every other day maybe I'll get like a small localized area of that crawling itching sensation and and that goes away. It's just like, it's like I'm getting peace back in my body again. I'm finding me again. Your energy's way up. Oh, my energy is so much higher. I mean, I've been restoring furniture before I would have to negotiate oh, wow. to go to the bathroom. I would be like, okay, we can do this. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to post this on YouTube. Yes. Thank Great. you. Now, the, the joy here is we may have found a link to what people are calling Morgellons. Mm -hmm. I just started work with a new lab called Infecto Lab, and we did a comprehensive screen on you for various things that can cause chronic infection, and your CMV test is off the scale. It's so high. It's really, really high. And most of us, and I'm, I'll defend conventional doctors, aren't gonna think of this. Right. And this showed up positive. It was like 640. And I'm going to take a picture of it so the viewer can see it. And and that I have your permission to do that? Yes, yeah, oh, you can share it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, then we looked at CMV symptoms, especially skin symptoms, mm -hmm. and it's a direct match for it's what you've experienced. Match. It is. It's a direct match. It's crazy. I never even heard of it before. I never even heard of CMV before. So that could possibly explain I mean, a lot of what's going on with your skin. And maybe we've made a discovery that this is one of the factors dealing with what we call Morgellons disease. That's right. If we get you better and your CMV title comes way down, then I would say probably so. But mm -hmm. regardless, getting you better is what counts. Yes. So, titers or not, getting you better counts. Getting better counts and sharing it with other people who have Morgellons counts a lot too. And I know, and one other thing, the Morgellons people are very willing to share. Yeah. It's, it's un, un, very, very nice. You don't see that a lot. Well, you know, people with Morgellons have 800 times the national average of suicide. We've got to stick to each other. We've got to help each other. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just so grateful I and mean, this is giving me my life back. I, I've been, there was no hope before I came here. Every doctor just felt like a dead end. And now I'm getting better and I have hope I'm getting my life back. And my kids got sick too and there's just nothing 
worse for a mom than seeing her kids get sick. And now they're both, they've been having treatments and they're improving dramatically. And it's just, it's like our whole family went from all of us being on the downslide to death to like actually all of us like looking up and being like, oh my God, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Well, that warms my heart. That's why, that's why we're here in this business. Thank you.